I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will solve an absolute function inequality using graph. The question here is sketch and solve absolute value of x minus 1 greater than equals to 2 minus half of x. Now we need to sketch and show. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, we didn't take any graph paper so I'll just sketch uh, and just make some lines and then we'll sketch the graph. Right? Let's say these are my vertical lines one unit away right so these are my vertical lines one unit away to the right side and these are on the left side right so our solution can be approximate as you can expect in most of the graphical solutions right that's the whole idea you could have approximate solutions right so so beware of that okay now this is a very very crude way of doing it as far as you're concerned you should always take a proper graph paper to sketch. So we'll first sketch the function absolute value of x minus 1. Now to sketch this function we can think about a line with y intercept of minus 1 and a slope of 1. So that is my line. Correct? It's going like this kind of. Correct? Okay. But what really happens when we say absolute value we are considering only the positive portion and will reflect the negative side. So this side is reflected, right? So that is how, that is our graph of absolute value of x minus 1. Correct. Now we will sketch the graph for the function 2 minus half x. So 2 is your y-intercept, slope is negative half, that means 1 unit we can go down and to right. So one down, two right, so that is good point. One down, two right, that is another point, like this, right? Or you could go one up, two left. Okay, that's great. So this line represents, okay, that's not bad. So, so we have this line, which represents, uh, so it's better than what I expected, two minus half x. That is my second line. Now when I'm saying that this absolute function is greater than or equal to 2 minus half x, what does it mean? It means at these points we know it is equal, right? At these points both are equal. Now beyond these points what we see is absolute function is greater than, right? So, so that portion. So on the x-axis we will consider the portions, we'll fill it up since it is greater than or equal to and we'll say all these x values a part of our solution right so we'll just fill this up and say well that is my solution right now we can write what this point is here we have 0 minus 1 minus 2 on this side I mean we have 1 and we have 2 so the solution is that the x value is beyond 2 to the right and left side so so we can write down our solution that x belongs to real numbers, right? Where x is less than or equal to minus 2 union, x is greater than or equal to 2, right? So, so that is how you can get solution of absolute function inequality using graph, right? So in this particular exercise, I was trying to show how to sketch absolute function, how to sketch a line very easily and find its solution from the graph. I hope that works, right? So we saw that we need to find the points of intersections. Once we have those points, then we have to decide where absolute function is greater. The orange line is higher than green line. So we found, well, that is the part, right? So the corresponding x values, corresponding x values become part of our solution. I hope that is absolutely clear, right? I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Well, as an exercise, what you can do is you can find solution of this particular inequality algebraically, right? So question for you. Find algebraic solution. Okay, so that is an exercise for you. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.